I'm going to show you how to make this clock. You're going to need two paper plates, some scissors to cut, and a marker. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this paper plate to make it just a circle. So you can use paper too. I cut out the two circles so that they look like this. One plate or piece of paper, you're going to write the numbers. I drew my numbers with a dot in the middle so I know where to put my two arrows. Now you're going to use your scissors to cut a line this way and a line this way around the 12 and then a line here and here around the six. I cut my lines so that the 12 can move and the six can move. Now, going to put this piece of paper on top of the other circle and I'm going to put two pieces of tape one on this side and one on this side so that they stay together. Once you have your clock put together and the top piece is on top of the bottom you're going to make two arrows one needs to be longer than the other one. I colored and cut out two different arrows. The short one is my hour hand, and the longer one is going to be my minute hand. Now, if you open the flap under the 12, you can write zero for zero minutes, or you can write o'clock, so you know to say o'clock when it's pointing to the 12. And under the six, I write a 30, so I know this means 30 minutes. So now I put my arrows on and the hour hand is pointing to the three, and the minute hand is pointing to the 12. So if I open this up, I know 12 means zero minutes. So it is three o'clock. Now my hour hand is pointing to the two, and my minute hand is pointing to the six. So if I look under the six, I now remember that Six means 30 minutes, so I know it is 2.30.